Hello, tribe. Hello. So I have been, I have been called to make a, a video and express much, actually. However, I'm going to do my best to keep it short and sweet. Good luck on that, I know, but I'll do my best. So, I keep hearing the song, times they are changing. Isn't it the truth? The shift has happened, and the time is now. time is now. We must weed out those that no longer serve the tribe. Discernment is key. more compassion and less empathy. As we step into this shift, I'm not denying the level of pain that we will experience. I will admit that the pain will be far harsher with resistance. And that resistance can also show up as us wanting to do more for others, right? Wanting others to join us on the journey, um, us wanting it more than they do. Yeah. It's excruciatingly painful to witness the ones we love the most. No longer be part of oneness. No longer be part of tribe. What does that look like? How does that show up for us? So. I have mentioned before and to many individually um, what it's like to deal with leeches. So I remind you that a leech on some level um, is meant to be a medical benefit, right? That's what we were taught at one point in time, that a leech literally sucks the poison out of one system or out of their blood. Um, so that that person can be free of those toxins and that they can um, to be bled, right? To, to, to free themselves of poison. However, if you leave a leech on too long, there's detriment. Now, things I've learned with leeches They're needy, yeah, needy, right? They want to take the attention in the room. Why is attention not on them? It's the, who can who can I take it from? Who who? They can't pay attention to themselves and be fulfilled within their own systems that they seek and and look for other people to take it from, right? And then they find, I apologize, forgive me. They find the weak. They find loving, compassionate beings who are susceptible. Those that, 
those that only feel fulfillment in helping other people. Sorry, but it's true. I used to be one of those people. Leeches love those people. Because they'll constantly have nourishment from you. And you will get weakened over and over again. You'll become drained. There'll be nothing left of you to nourish those that require and show up on an equal level of nourishment. No longer are we allowed to nourish those that no longer can nourish themselves and others. I will say it again. No longer are we allowed to nourish those that cannot nourish themselves or weaken others by stealing or leeching off of their nourishment. When a leech attaches itself, whether it be a human leech or an actual physical leech, you know what actually injects a poison into you? It injects a numbing agent into its host, leaving you foggy headed. leaving you questioning the reality that you're standing in, right? Oftentimes leaving the person feeling disarrayed, not knowing where they left their car keys or their car or no. I laugh because I just had this experience the other evening. I went to an area we visited an area the other evening that six months ago, not so bad. Not so bad. It was um, pretty even keeled. The earth felt okay. The people felt okay. There was a give and take. There was what I refer to as tribe and opposition. I just like to keep it simple without judgment. There are those who are part of your tribe or the network of tribes, right? They are ones who are connected in the light and they choose to nourish other beings within the light, okay? And then there are those that did not choose that. They chose to steal the light, right? Many refer to them as evil. I don't choose to judge. There is no such thing as good or bad. There is just what serves and doesn't serve. That's it. It's not good or bad. They either choose to serve and be in service or they choose not to serve. So you'll hear me speak of the opposition, right? Those that are in opposition to the light. Don't get me wrong, they want it. They want your light, they want my light, they want our light. They will suck you dry. They will steal every ounce of it from you if you let them. And if you're overly loving, overly compassionate, and have no boundaries. I want to live in the disillusionment that all beings are in this loving space. Trust me, I wish they were. I wish they were. I did not choose to want to be where we are, but we are here. We are here now. And it is time. 
clean up the messes. Learning how to stand on our own two feet, right? Working with and for other tribal members, feeding the tribe. If you consistently stay within the opposition circle and think you can feed and work with them, they'll eventually own you. As I said, I was out the other night and the area seemed decent a few months ago. No longer. My energy was under attack the whole time. People that I was with, complete loving beings, could not sense and feel to the same degree because they were so giving. But I watched as this person couldn't find her car afterwards. In fact, the whole time we were there, an area that they were familiar with, and it seemed as if they were fairly familiar with, lost and confused the whole entire time. Thinking we were in a whole different location the whole time we were there. Yeah. Couldn't find their way. That is opposition attacking Learning to trust how you feel is key. We are all scared. All of us. But I can no longer keep quiet. I have been blessed. It is a blessing to have the level of insight that I hold. And those that come to me for the work seek that insight along with the variant other levels of healing that I am capable of providing, whether it be in the physical, emotional, structural body, mental body, right? The recovery of your soul from where you've left it behind, right? However, my level of insight. I was gifted today with the, the person saying to me, I just wish you'd give me the answers. <laughs> but I know, and th this is continuing what they said, they said, but I know you're not giving me the answers. They said, you know the answer, but you're not giving it to me on purpose. So that I can figure it out myself. I leave you vulnerable and susceptible if you cannot be strong enough to find it yourself. If I give you all the answers, then you're cookie cutter and you won't know how to handle the stress under pressure. If I guide you to find it from within, And you are strong. And you are capable. And you will make authentic decisions that serve you in the moment. So I made um, a little list of what I wanted to speak of during this, and I don't even know if I've covered it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna glance down. Okay. So on some level I have, um, 
not necessarily the avenue I thought I was taking, but. So, as I mentioned, you may feel drained during this shift over, right? So it's like um, removing cords and connections. Some of this drainage is that you are actually stepping into your power and those that were connected to you are coming off of you, which it sounds crazy that it would leave you tired or feeling even more drained, but there was a level you were fueling off a level of um, nourishment, but a false nourishment from these beings. Excuse me. So there's a level of disillusionment, right? So as I said, like these leeches, and when they start to remove themselves from you, um, it's exhausting. It's draining. So we need more rest, okay? Um, hydration. You must stay hydrated. So these leeches are there, right? They're there all the time. And literally you walking by, you doing you on a daily basis can be getting attacked from these beings. They literally just suck off of your energy. They um, put their attention on you and you don't even know it. And during that moment, what they're doing is literally just pulling energy out of you. Let me put that back. They go right for our weaknesses, fear, kidneys, adrenals, okay? Clearing off your back, right? That lower back area near the ribs. Rubbing that area, throwing the energy off, making sure you don't feel overly stuck in those areas would be key. They work in attaching themselves to your emotions. And it's not just the emotions, it's getting you, getting you to experience peaks and lows. And then what they do is they come in at those moments when you feel, when you don't have control over your peaks and lows and they grab and attach to you. Okay? A perfect example is working in a um, facility um, of a gym, right? And there will be certain beings that will come in midway, fussy, consistently trying to disrupt the class, seeing how much attention they can get while I just continue to work. For me, that's easy to spot. It's not a child, but they're acting childish. They're acting needy, looking around like, do you see me? And those that are unfocused will put their attention on them, and that's where they start to feed off of. Mm -hmm. So one, it's going to happen, and you are in charge of making sure that you remove them from you on a regular basis. You need to be connected to your physical body, touch it, move through it, shed things off of it, to clean, clean, clean. The other is your minerals. You need to keep your minerals up. And I know for myself being down here in all this heat where I'm located, depletion of salt like crazy, right? So I have to constantly be bringing it in. And what's really interesting, leeches dry up with salt, don't they? It's the waters they want. It's the salt that makes them retract. I will share more of that information as we move forward. The time is
is now. I love you. I hold consistent prayer for the well-being of those within my tribe. Keep faith. Be in prayer with your Creator. Be in prayer. I will leave it there. I will leave it there. In fact, there will be many more videos to come, tutorials, how-tos, and self-care, um, whether it be on the physical form, whether it be um, emotional, mental, or this specifically, which all of it's linked, but consciousness to my tribe. I ask uh, that you go to YouTube and find me there. I will be making the transfer shift over. I will make some videos here on Facebook. However, I will be more consistent putting on YouTube as we move forward in the future. I will keep directing you there. However, at some point in time, the videos won't really be here um, and they will be on YouTube. So. And that's where a lot of the information will be provided as far as how-tos and um, ways of strengthening and healing yourself. So much medicine to offer you. So much medicine. So. And if I can be of individual assistance, you know, contact me. I love you. I promise you we are in this together. Not one of us has gotten out of this unscathed. Not one. I love you, tribe. What is it, the fingers? There they are. Very good.